Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. This will probably be our last little program for the year as Mr. and Mrs. Ticks are going to have some fun over the Christmas holiday season. So we'll be back in early 2018 launching in with a bunch of new videos. Merry Christmas to those of you in the world that celebrate the Christmas holidays and any of you who have an Android smartwatch, have you checked that little plus sign on your watch, uh, you know, where you can download custom watch faces. Well, check it out because I just did. And these are brand new uh, Christmas themed watch faces that are free for you to uh, download without having to hook to your computer or anything. And I'm pretty sure on any of your Android watches that support that feature. So there's a little thing you may not have known about. They have updated and changed and added to the stock. Uh, what? Whoa, <laughs> that's weird, isn't it? Let's see if I could do this. Make time fly. How's that? Okay, okay, stop playing. <laughs> anyway, um, Merry Christmas. And I hope you get yourself a fun watch to play with or two. And remember, you, you don't need just one. <laughs> <laughs> this is an addictive um, channel here. I, a lot of folks started out to learn about which watch they wanted. Like they were going to buy one pair of shoes in their life, you know? And yeah, you need a sports watch and a dress watch and an Android watch and a, you know, Android wear or a tick watch. or yeah, <laughs> Before you know it, you're just consumed with the joy that you can have with these multiple watches. And they're inexpensive. I mean, mostly you have one phone. And you're with that phone for a couple of years, right? Maybe only a year. Maybe only nine months. But still, it's one phone. But with watches and all the things you can do with it, you can just grab one that you like the color of or one that has your special faces in. Or one like this one from Alrod that lets folks who are right Left, left-handed who wear the watch on the right hand be able to see the time, even though the buttons are backwards, right? Or, see, you've got the time in the lower half. Or if I flip it, you've got the time in the lower half, and it's still the same that you could wear this way or, or this way. Yeah, I know once you actually uh, do something... Uh, it's going to either be forward or backwards. You're not turning the whole watch upside down. But I thought that was pretty uh, innovative. And Alrod has this over on his uh, collection of smart watches. We'll have a link for that uh, in the show notes for you. But we're here on a purpose. And today's purpose is to talk about the, um, the Bluetooth calling. Now, just uh, by way of uh, reminding you, if you haven't watched the channel for a while, Gearbest sent us out this... H2 from Microware a while back and unfortunately one of them arrived and it wasn't working. It was like literally dead. So I did a teardown video. If you want to see what's inside of it, we completely took it apart and they promised to send out another one, a replacement that would let us play with this Bluetooth um, calling. And this is it. So if you're interested in the H2, definitely consider supporting Gearbest and picking it up on a coupon price from the show notes down below because they've really uh, reached out and sent a couple of these to us now so we can get what we want. And that's a review of this whole thing with the Bluetooth calling. Now, Bluetooth calling on an Android watch, for those of you who don't know, that has been kind of a holy grail. It's been something we've wanted for a long time. All Android watches come with the capability of putting in a SIM card and making a phone call or doing text messaging from a separate phone number on a separate SIM, just as if this were a separate watch, a phone in a watch format. But having the ability, and that's what happens when you go into phone or messaging or contacts, it's all related to the SIM card that you put in here. But tethering watches, the kind that aren't Android kind, would, would pair with your phone and you could make calls and receive them on your wrist using the uh, SIM in your phone. It was just like having an extension connection off of your phone. But you couldn't do that on Android. It's been crazy. And it's no reason why. So 
uh, some folks got together and worked out the bugs and the details to be able to create an app for Bluetooth calling right here. And it's an unusual app in that you can't just simply download it to any watch. It's built in through the firmware that rides on top of the software in specific watches. And the Microware H2 is one of those watches. The first one, as far as we know. When you order a brand new one now, uh, when it comes to you from GearBest, it should have the firmware updated to include the Bluetooth calling. You'll know if when you turn it on, you see this app. If it doesn't have it, two ways you may get it. One is through over-the-air uh, update. You can check on that to see if it'll be pushed to your watch over the air, and it'll update the firmware automatically or you have to physically flash new firmware to your watch. And that's a little bit complex. There's videos and information out there about it. Check the show notes down below. I have a link there to the Pro Boards, which is the location where all of this Bluetooth calling is being discussed. You can learn about how to flash the firmware and check your firmware to make sure you've got the latest version. And in terms of this one, what is the version that we're looking at? Well, we go into Settings. Go into, all the way to the bottom, about the watch, and check the Model H2 is running kernel version Monday, October 30th. And the build number is right here. Okay, so you're looking for uh, anything after October 30th, 2017, as to being the uh, more recent firmware, if yours is older than that, you probably need to do the firmware update. And again, you can do that with over-the-air update by going into wireless update or upgrade. And when you connect properly to the server, if it's available, it will push it here and you can update directly on your watch without having to hook the thing up to a computer and flash firmware manually. If it doesn't, though, that's going to be the only way you can get it done. Any which way you look at it, what you want is to be able to see that Bluetooth calling icon. And when you do, and you tap it, you'll be in that environment where you can make a Bluetooth call. Now, of course, you have to be connected to your phone uh, by Bluetooth. Um, so let's go through all of that. Now, let's talk about this Bluetooth stuff a little bit. There's kind of two things going on. There's the tethering app that they always tell you about. You go in and you find a QR code and you scan it and you download an app. In this case, it's the Y-Watch, W-I-I Watch. You install it on your phone. You tether the two together. And then you can do all your fitness stuff and it'll transfer over your heart rate if you got that. And on and on and on. That's your standard uh, tethering for a Bluetooth connection with an Android watch. And it has nothing to do with making this phone call stuff. The way you're going to do the phone call using the Bluetooth calling app is to go to your standard Bluetooth on your phone and make a Bluetooth direct connection to your watch. Now, I've already done that. I got all these other devices here. But I went in and I... Um, found the H2 and I connected it and now it's called it's connected to an audio call. When you look at the settings, it has these different kind of things on it um, and uh, your call audio and your contacts and on call logs need to be checked so you can transfer that information over. And speaking of transfer over, yes you can. You see these little dots across the bottom? We'll go through those in a minute and show you that you have your call log you have your contacts, and then you have this kind of Bluetooth setting area, as well as the touchpad. Now, I made a call to a bogus number just so you could hear the audio on this thing. I'm not going to do a full-on testing of getting somebody on the other line. I'm just going to hit redial. It's going to call a made-up number. You hear that? Clear, concise, 
and working. So you get really good call quality, Bluetooth connected to an Android phone that is capable of running this type of Bluetooth calling connection. Now, in terms of what you get on here, when you have this all set up, you've, of course, got your address book and uh, all of that gets transferred over here. And I got all my personal data, so I really can't walk you through it. But I can tell you if I slide one over, oh, hey, it's not synchronized. I can show you. OK, here's call history. If I hit synchronize, it brings the call history over here from the phone. If I go one more tab, you get your whole phone book that's in your phone on your watch. And if I go one more, it's showing me all the different connected devices, the Bluetooth connected devices that I have. And you can scan and I guess you can go through um, doing your connection here. This is the LG G3 and possibly you can even just do the connection right from the, uh, the app on the watch as well. So you've got those tabs, including the dial pad, and this is your redial button for the last number you called. It causes the phone to call, and it transmits the audio to the watch, just like a standard tethered um, watch would do. But this is an Android phone. I'm sorry, an Android watch, right? <laughs> Talking to an Android phone. Well, this is one of those call recorder things that always pops up for me so I can uh, record calls as well. All right, there you go. That's how it is working on the Microware H2, which is currently available from uh, Gearbest. So what about all these other incredible watches we've been talking about? Perhaps one that you own. Is this Bluetooth calling an upgrade that's going to come to those watches? Are you going to see it in the future, in 2018, on all these other watches? Well, possibly. And here's how you find out. The people behind all of this that are working diligently to get this on as many watches as possible is the Round Android Smartwatches Pro Board. We showed this once before on a video, and this was their release of information that it said that it works perfectly well, and it's going to be on the uh, Kingware KW88, 98, 99, the All Call W1, the just released H2, which is what we just showed you. It's also, I understand, coming to the Thor. I'm not sure about the Thor S yet, but the original Thor. So you got to check with the uh, Round Android uh, Smartwatches Pro Board to find out more about this because I'm not going to be able to follow this and report to each of you individually on it. I'm doing an update now and giving you these uh, links that you can follow. And of course, I'll have them in the show notes as well. And if you're curious about the status of Bluetooth calling on any Android phone, watch, boy, I get those mixed up, on any Android watch, uh, then check these links, head on over there and uh, bookmark it, follow them, talk to them, find out. And as uh, we get watches in that have the Bluetooth calling feature in the reviews, I will definitely be making note of that. But as far as retro and the ones that are already out there, you need to jump over here to find out the specific details, when it's coming, how it's coming. Get the firmware if you need to flash it manually and the instructions and the code that you need to do it with. It's all over there on the Pro Boards. And many, many thanks uh, to the gang over there who've made 2017 ending with a possibility of actually having Bluetooth calling on smartwatches. And one last mention to Gearbest, our folks that sent us this H2, if you want to get one with it on it now, check the show notes and head on over to Gearbest. They'll pick it up for you. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of 2017. We'll see you in 2018. Look how far we've come this year in watches. Just imagine what next year has to offer. Woohoo!